Just We're going to be making a little pizza today. Start off with oh, moving your donut. <laughs> I, am, I have a little wooden tray here and that's what I'm going to put it on. And I have some... Quiet down. Just a little. I have some uh, off-white clay here. It might be um, a little bit of ecru with pearl white. I don't know. Just pizza colored. You know, the crust. So you're going to warm that up. <coughs> and you can roll it out. Oops. Roll it out on your pasta machine on the number one. So you have your pasta machine. Then I have a circle cutter, and mine's actually broken because, um, I don't know, I did something to it sometimes, so I have to hold it together. But you just make a circle the size of a pizza. And so you have your circle. And then I use one of these. The end of it is round to put right in the center. And this is going to make the, the crust around the edge. Squish, squish, squish. Squish it down. And while it's in there, just you want to blunt the edges with your finger to make them kind of rounded because pizza isn't squared off. Catherine, leave the camera alone, please. I did so And then... Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Um, peel it off, and then you have a nice little crust around the edge. And I'm using a peppercorn from the kitchen of the salt and pepper. You know, a peppercorn, a little round thing to do my um, texture. Don't mess with it. Why? Because I asked you to. But why do you need to be on the screen? Anyway, you go around and texture why all of it. Why do you need it. to be on the screen? So people can learn how to make pizza. If you can't cook it, you at least should be able to make it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you don't have to texture the bottom. Even though that little lid gives you um, lines. You I don't know if you can see it. You See the little lines. So you have your pizza crust. <coughs> and then you, you throw this in the oven and bake it if you want. You don't really have to. It'll be just fine the way no, we do it. Those but you can bake it at this no, point. So this is the cr just the crust, no, and then you can pull it out and put it on. Are those dry? Are those dry? This pizza? No, it's those dry. Yeah, those are dry, but I have to glaze them still. Leave them. On. Leave them. Leave them. Thank you. Um, put some triple thick into a little dish like this. I have. And a little container that closes up so I can have some later too. I put triple thick in here and then I use pastel chalk. They're really soft chalk and I scrape off with a razor blade. I scrape, scrape off some of that to color it. And I use a little bit of red and a little bit of orange for the pizza sauce. And then you mix it with a toothpick so it's all in there. <coughs> all mixed together. With that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can have that part. So you have your sauce. Can you please go sit on my Not right now. I'm please, a little please, busy. Please, please, please. I'm a little busy. Please, 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 please. Okay. So I've smeared the pizza sauce all around, and you'll want to put your lid back on because this starts uh, drying out really quick. And. Uh, and then you're going to take your, you're going to let this kind of a little bit set up, not dry completely, but just leave it out. <coughs> and you're taking some translucent, translucent clay, and this will be the onions. <coughs> Excuse me. And try not to get on your, like I have red chalk down here, try not to mix it in or else it'll just pick up all the colors. And uh, just roll it out really thin, and then you can use your razor blade after I clean more of the chalk off of it to make tiny little onions and you just start dropping them on and you make them teeny tiny and um, try not to get them stuck together 
and you just drop them all over. So drop little tiny bits of translucent clay, which will look like onions, tiny, tiny little bits. And yes, it's time consuming and a pain, but if, you, if they're too big, then they won't look good. So take your time. You really don't need that many onions. So just take your time and, and cut them and put them on there. I'll be right back. So I have all the onions on here now that I want. And they just put them on top and don't really push them in there because the um, triple glaze, triple thick is still wet and a lot of them will sink down and some of them will just barely stick up over the, on the top and that's perfect. That's exactly what you want. Now you're going to do some... Look, I made a little snake. A nice, snake. nice snake. Now you're going to take some do green clay for it? the... Um, if you want to cook it, we can. This is for like the bell peppers or, or I mean, yeah, the green bell peppers or jalapenos, but probably the bell peppers um, is what I'm thinking they are. But you just take it and you roll it out really thin and you do the exact same thing you did with the onions. You just start taking slight, I usually I take the tip off. Um, you just start taking tiny little pieces and dropping them on there. Alright, so now you have some bell peppers sliced up and on your pizza. And we're going to move on to the cheese. What I did with... Mm, nice. What I did use for the cheese is I'm using sweet potato colored um, Sculpey. And I take slices of it. Like you just take very, very thin little slices. Like real th thin. And a whole bunch of them. And you bake them in the oven so that they're really hard. And then I have... I have a um, food processor, uh, an old blender one that goes on my blender, and it, it was for when my kids were babies, you smash baby food in it, or something like that. Anyway, it's a food processor, and you put it on the blender. You throw in the big chunks of clay, and you grind it up. Do not use your food processor for real food after you use it with clay. Anyway, here is the ground up orange parts, and this will be the cheese on top of the pizza. Now we'll move on to the pepperoni. You'll need a teeny, teeny, tiny little circle cutter and some, if you take some brown and red clay and mix it together and then roll it out on, I think I did a number seven on the pasta machine, which is right here. Then you take your peppercorn that you're using for texture and you roll it all over the top. So there you have the top of your pepperoni. Remember that's brown and red clay. And you can make little tiny circles. And you'll need five of them. Take your razor blade. Ever so gently pull them off. five of them. I do one in the center and then four on the edges. Oops, that one's upside down. And I forgot a step, so um, I'll show you now. On the pizza, when it's only the crust before you bake it, you need to take your your pastel chalks, take a, t a paintbrush, and take the use the brown, and you're going to make it look like it's toasted bread can't believe I forgot a whole step. Oh, bad me. Anyway, you go around and it's much easier when you don't have all the food on top of it. So here it's all browned up. No big deal. Now I use my triple thick and I will put it all over the top to seal it onto the board and, <coughs> excuse me, and um, all the pizza parts will be completely sealed in. When you're done with that, let it dry for a few hours, and then you will have oh a mess. No, then you'll have the dried pizza, and it's you can touch it, and your four-year-old can mess with it, and it's perfectly, you know, safe to have in a dollhouse or wherever, and it won't won't mess up. So be permanent.